Hello there, I'm Andy Sanderson. Before we start, I'd just like to thank all of you who have subscribed or liked my videos here on YouTube, and thanks very much for watching them, and thanks very much for all the people that have rung me up and even come in to see me in the office to say how much they've enjoyed everything. So that's really nice of you. This evening, I'm at Bryn Mawr in Dogellai. Now, it might come as a surprise, but that behind me is just the coach house here. That's not the actual property itself. The main things about this house are that number one, it's got this coach house, which is ripe for conversion, subject to the necessary planning consent, but also it's got this beautiful garden, which is perched up here with fantastic views around the local scenery. In addition to this, it's a Grade 2 listed property and it's been so well preserved, there's lots of character features on every floor. In addition to all the style, it's also been upgraded to provide a good degree of comfort with gas-fired central heating, lots of refitted bathrooms and up-to-date kitchen etc. The other thing is it's equally suitable as a main residence or family home but the current owners have been running it as a bed and breakfast. And even if you're not looking to buy a house, after being here all afternoon, I'd recommend booking a stay for a weekend just to come and enjoy the environment here. If you carry on watching for the next few minutes, I'll give you a quick tour round and I'll take you through floor by floor. <laughs> This is the lovely driveway here, it's about 25 metres long and as you enter it you go through between the lovely big stone pillars and the iron gates up to the front here. Now behind me you can see there's a terrific view over the local scenery and one of the really nice things about this property is that it's only a few minutes walk to the town centre but you have to get up here through a few narrow winding lanes. So before you book your viewing, make sure you pay careful attention to the directions that we give you. At the top of the driveway here, there's parking for several vehicles and you can see the driveway swings round here past this uh, red car and that's what winds its way up to the back garden. And that's where the coach house is and there's another vehicle access at the back as well. This is like your own little country lane that takes you up to the back garden, but as well as this lane, there's a kitchen up there at the top, and there's a door that takes you to the back garden as well. But we're gonna carry on going round this S-bend, and straight ahead, here's the garden. And up here, we've got the patio area. Over on my left there, you can see the roof and chimneys of the house. And over on my right is the uh, greenhouse dome and the coach house at the top. It's a lovely wooded aspect at the back of this walled garden and those double gates on the left there give you access round the back to the coach house here. You can see that they've tacked a wooden garage on the back of the coach house. This is where they would have bought the coach and horses in at the back here. There's some more storage as well. And round at the front here you can see the horseman's cottage area. And there's even a horseshoe left on the door. There's four rooms on the ground floor and another two rooms up in the loft. But these two ground floor rooms have got lovely vaulted ceilings that go right up here. Here's the stairs that take you up to the crog loft. I'm now going to take us in through the front door and briefly show you the ground floor accommodation. As we come in, there's a ground floor toilet on your right here but it's the view straight ahead that catches your eye straight away. Pine floorboards extend from the hallway into the lounge and the dining room. The original stairs are absolutely beautiful. This is the lounge which is just to the right of the hallway. It's got dual aspect windows and there's some lovely views and excellent natural lighting here. I'll take you into the dining room next, but you can see even the doors are original and there's period doorknobs and finger plates too. As well as having the lounge and the dining room on the ground floor for the guests, there's also this separate owner's lounge, which has got lovely herringbone woodblock flooring and a wood burner stove. And that door at the back there on the right leads down to the cellarage 
which all lies below the lounge in the dining room. Off the owner's lounge is this modern kitchen. There's all sorts of integrated appliances in here. Nice um, roof lights give plenty of light to it and there's also ceiling spotlighting. Plenty of room for a dining table in here and off to the right here there's this door that leads outside to the side's passageway. This is the cellar down here, slate stone steps and I bet you this is where all the servants and maids used to work. There's two rooms down here. In this room you can see there's this boiler which serves the ground floor and the first floor rooms and that's a hot water cylinder for those areas as well. So next let's go up to the first floor and the three rooms up and bathrooms up there are what, is used, are, what are all used for with the B&B. That's bedroom number three with its own lovely bathroom across the landing. That's the master bedroom suite here and this is bedroom two with its own ensuite too. Rewiring throughout the property has been really well planned. As I've gone around I've found plenty of power points and really good lighting. This room's above the main lounge and it's got these dual aspect windows again which provide a really good view out over the town and to all the scenery beyond. And this is the contemporary style wet room which goes with this main bedroom. This is bedroom number two and once again this has got a really nice bathroom ensuite to it. Well I hope that you're liking what I've shown you so far. We're now going to go up to the top floor which is like an owner's apartment where there's a kitchen and three other rooms which you can use as you want really. Bedrooms or lounge or study or whatever. This bedroom's got a view right across the town. And this is another one of the rooms with the dual aspect windows with the great views. So this would actually make another good sitting room. So in addition to those two bedrooms, there's also another toilet, there's a shower room and another room. And that's further to this kitchen here which has got space to eat in as well. But one final little thing is the door over here. And this is the one that takes you to the back garden. So that's the tour complete for you. It's been a quite a long day but it's a lovely peaceful evening out here. If you'd like to come and have a look at the house for yourself or you'd like a video like this to sell your own property, please give me a call on the usual number which is 01341 281599. And in the meantime, if you'd like to be alerted about other films and uh, videos that we make, please subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel and uh, also click the alarm bell thing for notifications. And if you'd like to know a little bit about Dolgethlai itself, I've made another short video about the town and there'll be a link pop up at the end of this video. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Andy Sanderson and bye bye for now.